everyone and welcome to a brand new video on Wishes and Is. So as you can probably guess from the title and the thumbnail of this video, today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. We have been holding off on this video for a little while just because we haven't had the time to film it. And at the moment we don't have anything but time so we're gonna sit down and we're gonna film this video with you this video is about the mystery minis collections that have come out with funko there are quite a few different sets we have two frozen and a star wars carton to unbox with you today um we also have some that we have previously opened that we would like to show you what we got if you watch this channel a lot you'll notice that they're usually on my back shelf here, <laughs> yeah. where Olaf is, because they're, you know, frozen themes, so they need to be with their frozen partners. And we have three to show you. So the first one we opened was this little cutie. It's Elsa, it's little baby Elsa. She is absolutely adorable um, in her little nightgown. These are really high quality figures. They do sometimes have a little bit of a problem with the painting. There are some different paint marks on her. Um, but she is really cute. On the box, she is listed as a 1 in 24 chance to pick her up. So we actually did quite well with our first... Yeah, it's alright. ...little one. Not not the highest or lowest odds, like whichever way it goes. <laughs> so we had Elsa. Then we were delighted because in the UK, Tesco had some of their own exclusive boxes. So you get... A couple of different variants if you got it directly from Tesco. And you can see them here on this box. So you could pick up Elsa, Olaf or Anna and they were one in six but they were exclusive in the Tesco boxes. And as you can probably guess by the way I'm phrasing this, we managed to pick up Elsa as our second little Funko. She's really cute, she comes in two pieces so it's Elsa and also Gail who comes separate as a separate piece. So she usually sits on the shelf like that. <laughs> Commanding all the elements. She is a absolutely gorgeous, but you can see there she's got her costume It's just lovely and she's got a little leaf in her hand which goes with Gail So we were pretty excited. We had two Elsas and we thought you know only the Elsa trend can continue I absolutely, did want yeah. a matching Anna for either of them, but with our third <laughs> box we opened Kristoff <laughs> Kristoff is so cute! I love him so much! Yeah, not quite the Anna we were hoping for, but, you know, it's, it's as close as you can get without actually having Anna, I suppose. Definitely. He's got his costume details. I love the way these look together. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the next two boxes. They are Frozen boxes. Um, and then we have a special Star Wars box for the Star Wars fan to yeah. open at the end, just so you don't feel incredibly left out. I know you Thank love you. Frozen too. I do. I was going to say, it's not really a problem. Um, I'm just, I'm not as great at collecting things as Ashley is, I would say. So whenever these came around, I was like, may as well get Frozen ones, because Ashley will appreciate it more mm. than I do. But then we, we got a Star Wars one, just before. We got a Star Wars one. These were actually, do you remember when we got these? It wasn't Birmingham, was it? It was. It was. Oh, okay, it was Birmingham. We picked these up from Primark in Birmingham. The Birmingham Ball Ring Primark, I think it is. That's the one. Um, these, I think they were £2.50 each. So we picked up two. And I would have picked up more, but someone wasn't having it. <laughs> Which, in all fairness, it has taken us a couple of months to film this. So maybe you weren't wrong. Yeah. Did we need them? <laughs> Not until this point, no. Which yeah. one should we open first? I don't know. This one's heavier. Open the lighter one. Okay. What I would do. It does say on there that they were five pound each, but I think when we went to ring them up, it said it was definitely two pound fifty. Yeah, faux show. Sure. Got my handy scissors. So these are all the options of what we can get in these Primark boxes. I mean, just because she's the rarest, I kind of want Anna in her <laughs> in her dress. I one would, out of would love Anna in her dress. She's definitely my favourite one. I kind of want Sven to go with Kristoff. Yeah, that'd be cool. I just feel like that would be a good combination, and I would like Anna to go with Baby Elsa, so Baby Anna, mm. um, or Anna in her travelling gear to go with Elsa. Elsa. Yeah, I just hope we don't get normal Elsa just without Gail. I know. <laughs> it would be odd if we did, but I feel like the odds. I don't know. The odds of getting them, they're one in six, so it's likely. There's the external box and then there's... A blind bag yes, inside. Yes, a blind bag on the inside, so you can't cheat your way in. So I'm just going to open up the box. And as you can see on the inside, you've got the glue where it was sealed. The box just opens up naturally and you can pull out the blind bag on the inside. Ooh. Blind bag. So 
I'm gonna do the feel test. Okay. What are you feeling? Because I can't feel like any arms sticking out. I can't feel flat or anything like that. Oh, hang on. That's oh. it. <gasps> no, it's not. Is it Sven? No, it's our good friend. I think it's Lieutenant Matthias. Let's open this up. I can feel the shield. Hey, hey. you went wrong. Oh, he's so cute. I love the design again. He is just a little sweetheart. He does look really cool. I love his little Arendelle shield. That's where it's at. Brilliant. So let's open up the second box. Do you want to open the second box? No, it's all right. You you keep opening. They're okay. your boxes. I'll open the. He Star doesn't Wars stand one. up very easily, but I'm glad that we got him because that means we haven't had a repeat so far. Yeah, that's true actually. And he so, is one of my favourite characters in Frozen. Too. Yeah, I he's have really a soft cool. spot for him. Who are they? So I remember Ashley saying when we got this box because it was so heavy, she was thinking it was probably going to be the stone giant, the earth giant, or the knock. Because they're quite big figures, they look like. Yeah, they do look quite bulky. Right, let's pull out the blind bag and see if we can guess. That one looks like a pretty fat boy. I don't think it is. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, well. open it up. Because I said it was going to be the knock of the earth giant, so... I hope my powers of feeling are correct. <laughs> hey! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's going to look so great next to Elsa. They can... They can pair up. Having Knock and Gale is, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yay! Okay, I'm so glad because we got one, two, three, four, five boxes with no repeats. Yeah, that's really good. Which is really repeats cool. are always really sad. But we didn't get any of the common ones, like the super common ones, because Kristoff was 1 in 12, Matthias was 1 in 12, the Knock was 1 in 12, Elsa with the Gale was 1 in 6, but she was a Tesco exclusive, and Baby Elsa was 1 in 24. So she was our rarest. She was our rarest, yeah. Wow. Um, so now it's just the Star Wars one left to open. Hey. Which I'm going to give you the honour of doing. Thank you. I'm excited. But this is really cool. So this is, um, and it doesn't say specifically, it just says Star Wars, but I'm assuming this was with the Rise of Skywalker because we bought these around Christmas time. Just realised they're all 1 in 12. <laughs> so there's an equal chance for every single character, but it looks like we've got Rey, Kylo Ren, Finn, Poe, I forget her name, but kind of Poe's sort of friend from a planet I've forgotten his name as well is it Dio yeah. I think it's Dio uh, obviously Lando Carizian Sith Trooper I'm guessing that might be Hux he's not Ginger though no 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 that's no, not that's Hux that's the, that's the other um, dude general um, and then just Knights of Ren which is pretty cool so I imagine this could be very much the same situation as the Frozen ones yep just black and starry skied which obviously I'm a big fan of okay right Interesting. Okay, so what I'm feeling is a big base, but I'm feeling a separate top part. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yep. Oh! His head's not come off. It's just actually bobbly. Oh, it does say bobble head on it, actually. Oh, I think you've got a really cool one. Yay! It, did, it felt so loose. I was like, I don't understand how this is happening. But look at little Kylo. That's so cool. I mean, I don't think lightsabers are... It's a little, it's a little bent. little bent. But apart from that, that's really cool. Look at him. That's amazing. I couldn't have hoped for a better one than that. That's I, really I agree. Cool. I think you got really lucky. I did. Cause it could have been a less significant character, but to be fair, I think Kylo Ren's pretty much the coolest character in but that he's movie. But he's all broken. His head's all broken. Do you remember the film? No. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was something a bit different. We haven't done an unboxing like this on the channel before. We have done hauls and we have done other kind of Disney videos. We are planning to do a Disney first tips video. So if you're going to Disneyland Paris, do let us know what you want to know in the comments below to this video because we will be answering some of them in a video coming up shortly. Just sort of first time tips, where you want to go, where you want to eat, things like that. What sort of times catch the parades. We're going to be putting our knowledge together. We've been three times together and I've been once again with my family. So we've got quite a bit of knowledge and we're really missing Disney at the moment. We were supposed to go this year, next month. And uh, oh gosh, I yeah. don't think that's going to happen. Probably not. 
but it's for the best it is a good thing that we're not going sad but it's it's true yeah and i guess we'll just have to use that time to just stay at home and watch disney plus instead which isn't that bad to be honest no I it's a good think alternative of, i think of worse things to do with a week off so <laughs> we also have another video coming up shortly simon is going to be doing a review on disney plus so he's going to be letting you know all of the best tips and tricks what's on there whether it's worth getting and whether it's worth the 5.99 per month so if you want to ask any questions about that as well leave it down in the comments and we'll have it out for you in a couple of weeks time thank you so much for watching guys we loved chilling out with you today i hope you enjoyed this if you did give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more disney content we will see you in the next one bye, bye.